in the reality TV stuff. Mm -hmm. oh, no, really, though. Really. I just got done with Love is Blind. That oh, we can hilarious. talk about Love is Blind. Yes. Yeah. We can talk Love is Blind because that oh shit. Oh, my God. It was hilarious. Do you want to yes. skip over Circle? Should we skip over Circle? The Circle's irrelevant now. All right. It's irrelevant now. <laughs> Love it. Let's talk about it. I love first when did you start I only watching saw it? that third season. Okay, perfect. I started watching it after I saw the TikTok of the of Andrew with the eye drops. Oh my god, that was so cringe, dude. It's <laughs> I saw like a 50 second clip where he goes, Are we rolling? Okay, hold on. And he just like puts the eye drops in, and then he goes, I'm just I, I never thought I could care for someone so much that it brought me to tears. <laughs> <laughs> that sold it for me i was like i'm watching this that's hilarious and the he thing, really thought he could get away with that it's insane and not have them put it in <laughs> but like this show has gotten i started watching second season i think i watched first season mm. me and stephanie have been watching it and i'm the first season feels like a fever dream i don't really remember it but i feel like i remember mm. it but as 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 the show has progressed I feel like, I don't know, I don't want to make a generalization, of course, mm -hmm. but I feel like the show is attracting more people who are here for the clout, who are here for the 15 oh, totally. minutes, right? Like, like that, like what's his face is doing the eye drops, like bro. Yes, 100%. He only went on there to like toot his own horn. I think that about a lot of the people. And I don't think that I watched the first season um, and if I did, it was the same thing where I'm like, this is, feels like a dream because so many <laughs> of those reality dating shows on Netflix, uh, like blur together mm -hmm. and I, they feel exactly the same. And there's one like girl from the UK or something, Chloe, and she's on like a couple of them. I don't know if she was on Love is Blind, but whichever other one, I think she was on The Circle too or something. Okay. So she was on the circle, but she was also on one of the dating ones. And that's the one that I watched a little bit of. It might have been Love is Blind first season, but it, it wasn't like memorable for me whatsoever. Well, Third season, Love is Blind, <laughs> memorable as fuck. Well, let's give a quick rundown of the show for those listening who don't know what Love is Blind. Love is <laughs> yes. Blind is a, sh is, a, is a reality TV show on Netflix where uh, groups of men and women... Uh, a group of men, group of women, uh, meet each other, but they don't see each other. They meet each other in these th in these rooms called pods, where there's this glass, smoky window in between them, a wall, and they just get to talking, right? They get to know each other, and I think they have about a week or so, or two weeks to like date. Ten days. Ten, ten, ten days. So you have 10, imagine, if you will, dear listener, you join a show, you meet someone, you're meeting a bunch of people, but within 10 days, you're hoping to find a person that you're going to want to marry and that's going to want to marry you. And so this show is to see if love is truly blind. And so far it's, I mean, it's been, it's been a shit show and it seems like and I mean that in, in the most in the most loving way, Netflix, you know, because it's a beautiful shit show to watch. But but the trauma, ridiculous, <laughs> the level of and trauma. Also, <laughs> let it be known that so you go through, you get engaged in the pods, then you get out, you have to live with each other for three weeks, but you have to decide whether or not you want to marry them at the altar. That's the kicker. So it's have like. You bring all your friends and family, you get the dress, you go to the altar, and then you say your vows. And after your vows, you're like, I don't. <laughs> and these producers are say, so, I don't. These producers are so conniving because they always make the person who you're most worried about, who you're most on the edge about their answer, go first. These oh, yeah. these producers know what they're doing, man. But yeah. so, so, so the first 10 days... They get to know each other in the pods and like that can be really cute. You know, they get to know each other. They get vulnerable. So for this season, I appreciated a lot SK and Raven. Mm. I appreciated how Raven, there was that moment in the pods and my memory is really fuzzy with the pods now because that's becoming a fever dream in my mind now, like season two and one. <laughs> right. But 
in the pods, Raven was talking to not SK, but was it Bertie Bartiz? Bartiz. Bartiz. Bartiz of shit. More like that. That son of yeah. We'll talk about him soon. <laughs> They, 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 you. He assumed they would be a match made in heaven because he assumed that she was this fitness person who was probably beautiful, which she is physically. Yes, she is beautiful. But mm-hmm. the thing I really appreciated about them in the pods was that when Raven was talking to Bartise in the pods, she was doing jumping jacks. Dude, that was so funny. He's Bro. like pouring his heart out, <laughs> talking about how his like parents. Like, he found out his dad was cheating on his mom or something, like, the moment he found out. And she's, like, doing jumping jacks. <laughs> and then she doesn't even apologize. He's like, are you working out? She's, like, she's yeah. like, oh, you heard me? That's funny. <laughs> ah. Savage. She, she didn't care. And that's why, like... I, Savage. So you watched all of season three, right? All of it? Even mm-hmm. the reunion? Yeah. <laughs> all, right, all right. So spoiler alert for anyone watching. Spoiler alert. Um... So with Bart with with uh, with Raven and SK, mm-hmm. SK saying no threw Dude, me for yeah, a that world. Me off guard for real. But then I thought about it, and after you know watching the reunion and seeing that they're still together, I'm like, oh yeah, you made a reasonable I think choice for the best. Mm-hmm. A lot of tears, especially. I think he's the smartest one, dude. He was the he was the most respectful on that show. Let's be honest. Oh, yeah. He was the he was the most gentleman out of all of them. And I don't mm-hmm. know. Should we pick out what's the biggest difference from him? That he's not American. Oh yeah. I'm mm-hmm. like, wow, the non-American is making all these American boys look like trash. Right. Right. For real. <laughs> like he was really with it. He was so nice. And everyone I loved Raven was like, stay out of my man's DMs because everyone is just <laughs> raving about him. Like, people love SK. Cause and he, rightfully so. Yeah. He's golden, man. Like, he's mm-hmm. he's wrapped in suede for a reason, you know, in velvet. He's mm-hmm. wrapped in velvet. Was it velvet or yep. suede? The velvet. Man, the man's wrapped in mel- velvet for a reason. You know, he's. He, oh, yeah. Because it was really. It made it such. A dynamic difference in the show with the gentleman because you have SK right who's with Raven and Raven is a, a very strong woman right she mm-hmm. knows she's beautiful but I feel like she is tired of like having that be the determining factor or like the initial thing that has men wanting her right which is I think right. what made her want to go on this show um, mm-hmm. and here comes SK who was like hey I want to I want to love you however you want to be loved Right. Um, and don't worry about it. And SK, for those who don't know, he comes from a South African family where his dad has multiple wives. So who knows what kind of dynamic that was for him? You know, like not saying, you know, I don't know what the kind of life that is. Right. No judgments here. Right. But like SK saw a certain type of life. Right. And he's like, no, like, I don't want that. Mm-hmm. I found Raven. Cool. You know what you want here. I want to love you how you want to be loved. Yeah. And Raven dug that. And that's why I'm, I was so mm-hmm. happy when, like, first off, they matched. They looked like they matched right. perfectly at the reunion. They were sitting, like, polar opposites, though, which is like, come on, producers. You wanted them just to walk across the entire stage for no reason. I know. <laughs> but with SK, And then put them back in the same positions. Make them walk like, back. Okay. But SK made all the guys look bad, especially, like, well, it, oh, he made say, themselves look bad. He made them look worse. He made them look worse. Thank you. For sure. I was going to say initially Cole, but then not going to lie, my heart kind of broke for Cole at the end after re- the reunion. After the entire reunion and we saw the Tangerine story, I was like, yeah. oh, perspective. It's true what they yeah. say. There's his story. There's her story. And then there's the truth. And mm-hmm. everyone's perspective is valid, but... <laughs> 